I'm Jacqueline Elliott. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to lead your customers instead of them leading you. to talk about how to lead your customers instead of them leading you. See, most of the time when people come in, since you do have a re bad reputation, since you are a salesperson, a lot of people come in and they try to take control of the sale. So if you have a customer, they usually know what it is that they're looking for or they kind of look around and then you're stuck following them. And that that's not the way you do, you do it. You're not an order taker, you're not a tour guide. You have to be a leader. And by being a leader, I mean just show up with the right attitude and you have to really take it like if they're on your turf they're in your house so when you have somebody come visit your house and say you have somebody that hasn't seen you for a while and you can kind of give them a tour of your house you have to really understand that they're gonna come in and you're gonna be like okay here is the kitchen make yourself at home the bathroom whatever it is that you're doing but you're leading them and they are following you see a lot of us make a big mistake and we conform to what other people are doing so we have to have a leading attitude we have to make sure that we don't conform to the way they are so we have somebody that's gonna come in and they're gonna be kind of turned down because they're not gonna want to be at the dealership they I mean we have a bad reputation and a lot of people don't I mean they'd rather go to the dentist than actually deal with the salesman I mean that's what all the statistics show so you really have to change that mold you have to be a leader and lead with great attitude but not only that you have to really understand that this is your turf this is a place that they're coming into this is your home so you have to treat it as that so you have to basically lead them and show them that you care by asking them the right questions you don't want to be an order taker you don't want to be a tour guide you, you know they're there for a reason they're there because they need something from you that you can offer them and you can fulfill their needs so a lot of times you know when I sold I, I used the walking backwards type of thing so when you're talking to your customers and you're asking them those qualifying questions when they come in you want to make sure as you're walking at the vehicle don't have that dead silence where they're just following your back and you're just walking or where you're following them that's like the worst mistake so one of the things that you have to practice is walking backwards as you're talking to your customer you you're kind of asking them questions and they're learning and you're walking and you're still looking at them but you're walking backwards so I felt that that really helped me because you still had that connection with your buyers and you still got to see their faces as you're walking toward the vehicle that they're wanting to see or that you're trying to you know show them or in the vicinity of what what they're asking and you're trying to discover their needs and wants and trying to fulfill because this is going to be the fulfillment stage once you're walking to your vehicles learn to walk backwards and keep that constant communication with them because it makes a big big difference so you have to understand that you are in the lead do not follow your customers if you do follow your customers. I guarantee you, you're not going to lead them into the sale. You're not going to lead them into the next step. And they want to feel like they're dealing with a true professional. So that's one thing that you have to practice. Practice walking backwards. Practice leading your customers. Stay engaged. Don't leave awkward silence at all throughout the process. Because if you do, then that's the time that they're going to doubt themselves. That's the time when all the stuff is going to come in, the objections and everything else. So try to be talkative. Try to keep asking them questions about their family and everything everything sometimes we do the the meet and greet fact find qualify where we're getting on the discovery of the thing and then we we kind of just stop right there and then we get keys and then we have them follow us and then we don't even turn back sometimes I see salesmen leaving their customers way far behind if they have kids make sure that we you know wait for the kids so that they're all together and we're talking to them in the meantime if you see a kid's shoe untied stop and tie the kid's shoe I promise you that it really really helps I mean I'm just saying you have to care you have to show them that you care but also lead them and you always have to make sure that you ask the right questions so that's going that are going to basically open up your sales so don't just ask fluff questions that are not going to advance your sale or move it forward Andy always talks about moving yourself forward so everything that you ask is going to lead on to that but don't leave that awkward silence don't follow your customers be a leader treat it as if it's your turf it's your house and you know make them feel welcome overload them with you know that that care in that you know welcome feeling that they come in overwhelm them with kindness you know they came to see you they went to probably two or three other dealerships before you have to be different you have to be kind you have to show them that you care and you have to walk with them and hold their hand during the process and part of that is not walking 
giving you giving them your back or you following them trying to chase them because they're leading the sale so one one tip that i can give you today hey walk backwards look at your customers acknowledge them this is your house you're in the lead understand your job and be proud of it there's a lot of people that are in sales and they're not they're not proud of being in sales if you are proud of being in sales it'll show i mean that itself will sell because guess what people want people that are real and you have to acknowledge your people so don't walk way ahead of your people don't you know let them lead you you lead them and that will show them that you care and that means so much more because you want them to be welcome just like they would at your house so, so quit looking at the dealership like it's the dealership look at it like it's your house in a way that that really helped me when I was in sales sell more is that I looked at every single piece of metal or you know every car like it hey these are mine and I looked at them like I invested the money into them and I had to find a way to get my money back and sell them so you know that's what they need to feel just like when you're at your home and they, they you have your couch and everything that you purchase for your home same exact way lead your customers into a place where it feels like it's your turf, but hey, you know what? They feel welcome, they're excited, they're at the right place at the right time. You're not giving them your back, and hey, you know, keep them close to you. That's one tip that I see a lot of people, and it's very simple, and it might not mean like much, uh, might not seem like much, but it means a lot to have you feel like you're with your customer at the time. Don't leave them alone, okay? So that's just one little tip. Hey, stay close to your customers, walk, guide them, lead them. Don't let them lead you because you're not gonna ever get that control back. Are you new to sales and you hate feeling like you're new? Listen, send me a text at 918-210-0254. Just tell me I'm new and I'm gonna send you some tips on what mistakes not to make as a new salesman.